So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can drop ship on Poshmark and make extra money either facilitating the sale or doing something I call drop ship arbitrage. Now Poshmark is a great e-commerce platform. There's a lot of people looking for clothing, home goods, you know, kids stuff on there, a lot of different things, even pet supplies now. They recently introduced that as a category. They plan to expand into like other categories coming soon as well as other countries. I believe currently they're just in the US and in Canada, but they plan to expand into Mexico and I believe into Europe in the coming years as well. But it's a great e-commerce platform where you can sell stuff, obviously. There's people on there looking, and so it's a great opportunity to drop ship, right? The issue with Poshmark specifically is the same as one of the ones that I've talked about before, which is OfferUp, right? So with Poshmark, you need to use the Poshmark label to ship to customers, okay? And that presents a challenge because you can't always just facilitate the sale from a supplier to the customer using a different label because you need to use the Poshmark label, okay? So in this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to actually drop ship from Poshmark effectively so you can fly under the radar and make great profit. I'm gonna show you two ways that I've been able to do it and I'll show you exactly how you can do it too. So let's hop over to my computer and I'll show you how it's done. Now, one of the things that ZDrops introduced recently is a lot of these copy to Poshmark buttons. So there's gonna be two main ways that you can uh, list onto Poshmark and Dropship, right? You can either use the integrations that ZDrop has, which they've I've seen it on Amazon and I've seen it on Walmart. We're gonna go through and use this Walmart as an example right here, right? And typically, like one of the best things to do when you're drop shipping on Amazon, or sorry, drop shipping on a Poshmark is like if you go to like the best sellers. This is something that I did, but I wouldn't. You can start here. I wouldn't end here. If you go to best sellers or like clothing or home things on a you know Walmart or Amazon or any websites, right? You drop ship those on Poshmark because clothing, shoes, and jewelry are really what sell well on Poshmark, right? So one of the things that I used to do is I'd go to the best sellers on Amazon and I would just list like all the best sellers in clothing clothing on Amazon. So for example, you wanted to list this on Poshmark, you just go to the listing. It's clearly proven and sold a lot, right? You can also list this on, on Mercari, on uh, OfferUp, on Facebook Marketplace, on a number of other sites. But one of the cool things about what ZDrop has started to integrate is they've also integrated that same button to drop ship on Poshmark. You'll see copy to Facebook, copy to Etsy, which obviously you can't because it's not a handmade or a vintage good. Um, you can copy it to Mercari and now you can also copy it to Poshmark. They just introduced this. So same thing as Facebook Marketplace. You just click the copy to Poshmark button. You can also, obviously I'm not signed in, so let me sign in really fast and then we'll resume. So now that I'm signed in, let's redo that. We're going to hit the copy to Poshmark button and it's going to copy to Poshmark. Now you can also, if you wanted to do it like this, like you can also just hit copy to Mercari and then copy to Facebook and it's just going to start copying all of those and then you just have to paste the stuff in okay so I'm going to let this load really slowly or really fast I don't know why I said slowly and you just same thing with with the one on Poshmark as it is on Mercari as it as it is on Facebook right you just paste it by ZDrop let it do its job paste the data paste by ZDrop and let these do their job. And because this is a bestseller, what you can also do obviously clearly is grab like a picture from the rating right here and then use it on Mercari so that all your pictures on Mercari are in stock. As we've covered before, you can't have all stock photos on your Mercari listing. So one of the best things to do is list on Mercari with things with the reviews and use the review pictures, okay? You can also just simply order it to your house first or you can order a bunch of things to your house first and then take the picture of the actual package and then return them all. If you're doing Amazon, if you're doing Walmart, obviously they make it super easy to return things and it doesn't cost you anything to do so, okay? So we're listing this obviously on Poshmark as the example right here. So we're gonna hit apply and all these listings are just gonna pop up. The listing's pretty much full there and we wanna make sure that the right pictures are in the front here. So we're gonna make it look like that. Now you already know how to list on, on Facebook, so I'm not gonna list there. You already know obviously how to list on Mercari. I'm not gonna list there either, but I just kinda of wanna show you how to list this on Poshmark. So I'm gonna make, again, the title, same thing, right? Like women's button down V-neck. And one of the things right now on Poshmark, are that I know they're working on it. A lot, like Mercari used to be super uh, low, like amount of title, like super low characters in the amount of title. I think it was 40. Uh, it was even lower than Poshmark, but they just recently increased this to 80. I know Poshmark's working on increasing this. I also know they're working on increasing the description size, but I don't know when they're exactly rolling that out. So by the time you're watching this and actually trying it, it very well could be. But right now you are limited to the amount of space in your description and your title on Poshmark, okay? So you wanna be like women's button down V-neck, um, tank top, casual shirt will probably work. 
casual shirt, bam. And there we go, that's perfect, okay? I'm just gonna leave this like this, and we're gonna make this like women's uh, blouse, so women's top probably. And you, the more you do it on Poshmark, the, just like on Facebook Marketplace, just like on any site, the more you're going to understand the categories and you're going to be able to categorize it very, very quickly. And I'm also going to make sure that we have all the sizes in here. So what are the sizes? One thing I do on Poshmark, because you're allowed to list variations, is you want to make sure that all the sizes are the same price. So I just kind of go through, see this one dropped, and you want to make sure that you list it at the highest price uh, estimate so that you're sure that you're, if you list it, God forbid, at like 13 bucks or a little bit higher, but then you go to the small, I hate all these pop-ups. I have so many cashback things that they just pop up now. And we go make sure that all of these are the same price. So it looks like it sells at $12.99 for most of these. It's got like the small, medium, large, XL, and double XL, but the small is $17.99. So you wanna price according to the small, not the other sizes, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna list multi items. We're gonna list the small, medium, large, XL, and we'll do, I won't worry about the, we'll go double XL too. And so we'll go like four, quantity four, quantity four. It doesn't really matter again what your quantity is here. I wouldn't go two overboard, but I also wouldn't go like one or two because then you're gonna go out of stock and you don't wanna have to worry about that. You can list more if you want, although I wouldn't go too high because you can always change those. It's very, very easy, okay? I leave the brand, especially when I'm drop shipping from like Amazon or Walmart, I leave the brand undone. Um, it's going to be white. We're going to categorize it as that. You can also, this is new on Poshmark. You can categorize it as like title. So we're going to put like blouse, top. I don't know why I said tops, top, and like shirt. I always, one of the things I I think looks better on Poshmark is like when you put zero in the original price. So it, because you'll notice like on a listing, if you put the original price, it's going to go like original price and cross the original price out and then show your listing price. I don't like the way that that looks. I think it looks more professional like this. So that's the way I do it. You don't have to. But again, this is going to be a prime, so it's free delivery. It's not prime, but still free delivery. Taxes we're going to estimate are like a little bit under two bucks because like I've said before, you always take 10% of it That because the highest poten potential sales tax is 9%, I believe, in California. Uh, so I always estimate 10% because it's easy to do that math. So this is going to be like $1.70 or $1.80, depending on it's 18 bucks. So it's going to be $1.80. Um, sales tax. So I'm just going to estimate that it's two more dollars. So 18 to 20, it's going to cost us $20 with shipping and with tax to get this to our customer. Okay. And so I'm going to mark this up because you also, one of the good things about Poshmark and Mercari as well, is it's going to show you the fee structure. So if you mark it up to 25, well, your earnings are only going to be 20. You're not going to make any money, right? I also never put any discounted shipping originally. That's just the way that I approach it. Um, so you want to list this higher. 29 is still going to be a pretty low profit margin, but you could. What I like to do is I'll list these relatively high and then I'll make offers to likers because you can simulate urgency and accumulate a lot more interest on a listing this way. So I list it higher. If you make a sale, great. And then you can also make offers to likers in the future, okay? So if we make this sale at $39, which somebody could potentially come in and buy this at $31, $39 super easily, then we're gonna make $31.20 on that sale. And then we just go ahead and list it, okay? And that's how you drop ship onto Poshmark the first way. You simply just use the Z drop function uh, on either Amazon or Walmart. I'm sure they're rolling it out to other suppliers, but currently right now I've only seen it on Amazon and Walmart, but by the time you're watching this, it very well could be on others, okay? So that's the first way. The second way is if you already have a listing and on like Facebook or on Mercari or whatever, and you use a multi-channel listing software like List Perfectly. I'm not signed into List Perfectly right, right now. Uh, you'll see that all these different, it cross posts to all these different places as well as from these places to other places, right? So if you have a listing already on Facebook, you can then just use List Perfectly to cross post it to Poshmark, for example, right? So if we go into my Poshmark listing and we scroll down really fast, like let's say hypothetically say I wanted to cross post this to Facebook, right? Well, then I would just click this little List Perfectly button and all these little things were gonna pop up and you just go Facebook, copy, or if you wanted to also post it to Mercari or any of these other places that we'll cover uh, later on. So we're just going to do Facebook for right now. We're going to paste it into Facebook and then bam, just like the Z drop kind of works, it's just going to paste it over into a Facebook listing for you. Okay. That's what List Perfectly does. It's a phenomenal software, just like Z drop. And the same thing goes back with Facebook. So like if you're on your Facebook listings or the same thing goes with Mercari, like if you're on your Mercari listings or any of the integrations that work with List Perfectly, you'll see that little List Perfectly sign, you click it, 
the button will pop up again, just like this, and you'll be able to cross post it anywhere uh, just like that, okay? That's the second way that you can basically post to Poshmark, okay? Now, some issues with Poshmark that you need to understand. The main thing is that you need to use the Poshmark label to ship it to the customer, okay? So there's two main ways that you can do this. I've tried them both. They both work well, okay? You can do dropship arbitrage, or you can drop ship like normal with a thank you note. Because you need to ship the Poshmark label to the customer, they actually need to track the label from you to the actual customer to in order to pay you out for you to actually get credit for the sale, you can do one of two things. Dropship arbitrage is basically uh, drop shipping, but with a, a, med a middle step of you first, then, then shipping it out, right? So in this case, you'd list everything to Poshmark. As soon as you get a sale on Poshmark, you then order that product to you, right? So you go to that listing whether it's Amazon, whether it's Walmart or whatever, the key here is you need to make sure that the time between where you order it and the sh like the shipping and the handling time, it comes to you within one to three days, right? Because you have to ship out on Poshmark within three days, okay? So if you're ordering Amazon Prime, obviously it's gonna come to you very, very quickly, right? If you're ordering Walmart, chances are it's gonna come with to you within like one to two days. Just make sure the product and the specific listing on that actual site obviously works with that. So for example, I always used to use like Amazon Prime and I would order it to my house and it would show up to my house in like a day or two and then I would literally package it up with the actual Poshmark label and then ship it to the customer, okay? So that's dropship arbitrage. It's the same thing. It'll be the same profit margin because you're not paying for the shipping. It just adds a middle step of you receiving the product first and then shipping it out using the Poshmark label. This works very, very well, but obviously adds the step of you having to package the product up, okay? It's not that big of a deal. You can scale it up still very, very you know quickly and very, very easily, but it's a little bit more safer because obviously you're still shipping out the product with the customer or with the Poshmark label, okay? That's dropship arbitrage, you can do that. And this was very, very effective. I used to do this all the time. I still do it with certain listings, but now I've been kind of moving to this, which is drop shipping with a thank you note. So same thing with like any other drop shipping, you list on Poshmark, you make the sale on Poshmark, then you order that product from your supplier to the customer, just like you would any other marketplace, just the same, right? But then because you also need to use the Poshmark label and you need to ship that to the customer as well, what you then do is you ship a thank you note with the co uh, to the customer with a Poshmark label, and that also works very, very well. This is more secure. This is more you know safe, for lack of a better word, but you have to spend the time to package the product up and then ship it out, which is super easy. And then obviously drop it off in like a, a USPS, like one of those blue bins or drop it off at the post office, which can be annoying. It's not annoying for me because like I'm always on the road anyway, and I just drop them off like in between my wherever I'm going. It's super easy and they're all over the place. But you can also do it this way as well, where you just ship it to the customer from the supplier and then also use the Poshmark label that you print out and ship a thank you note to the customer and thank them for ordering and just say something along the lines of like, you know, Hey, I want to give you a thank you. Your package is on the way. It should be, you know, here at this estimated date. You can literally tell them. And then, because you'll know that with your tracking on Amazon or Walmart or wherever. And then you can be like, and as a thank you, I want to offer you 10% off your next order. Just, you know, message me this and, you know, I'll, you can pick from whatever, right? Something along those lines. Another thing that I used to do is just say something along the lines of like, hey, you know, I just want to apologize. I ran out of inventory in my warehouse, but I did have inventory for this specific listing in Amazon or Walmart where I also sell. So what I'm doing is I'm shipping you one from that listing, but I just wanted to send you a thank you, letting you know, and, you know, apologizing for the, the, you know, discrepancy or the confusion or whatever. That also works very, very well, but you can do either of these. Drop shipping on Poshmark works the same exact as it works any other place. It's a very, very great marketplace as well. And you can automate like sharing, which is gonna bring more eyes to your listing. Uh, but one of the things that does change with Poshmark is again, you need to use the Poshmark label to ship to the customer.